So I know, you know, we all have uh, slightly different views of what maintenance centralization means. So what, what is it? How do you define it? What does centralizing maintenance mean, mean to you? And maybe we'll, we'll, we'll go with um, um, Michael, if you want to start off. I mean, again, I go back to streamlining everything. I mean, that's where the Happy Force app has been just been very helpful that if we do have turnover, um, our tenants, as part of our customer service, they don't know that the maintenance guy isn't there because it's, a, it's you know, you've got half the force answering all the calls and the maintenance and everything, you know, kind of streamlining them and because we've centralized that whole operation. Um, another thing too, is that I've seen has been very helpful, especially with the Happy, Happy Force app is they have the right customer service level than our maintenance guys do when they call this tenant back or answer the phone. Sometimes the maintenance guy is, you know, with his family, he's already pissed off or he's maybe he's had a few too much to drink and he answers the call and then we get the complaint, you know, on Monday, hey, your maintenance guy was really rude with me. You know, we don't have that issue, but it's also, the reason we're centralizing a lot of our maintenance is just so we have the consistent customer service that our tenants expect out of our company. It's, it's all one of our promises. And um, most of our residents are trained on to go through the portal for everything. And then the one um, problem that we had was emergency calls. And if I can make a maintenance guy happy, at the same time, have a great level of customer service coming from the Happy Force app, I've got everything taken care of. 